If you've never heard of Sheep It, essentially what it is, is a free to use distributed render farm. A render farm is pretty much just a massive cluster of computers all hooked up and networked together to do one thing and one thing only, to render out each and every frame of an animation. Think about it like this, a CPU can only render one frame at a time, okay, it's sequential. A GPU steps up a notch by allowing you to render out small batches of frames one after another. A render farm takes up to a whole new level by allowing you to render out the entire animation, every single frame, all at once. Of course, given there's enough machines in the farm. Typically, there's two different types of render farms. Commercial render farms are made up of hundreds or even thousands of enterprise-grade GPUs and server-grade CPUs. You can think of them as similar to like cloud compute services like Google Cloud or AWS. Normally, they're pretty consistent in speed and reliability. The downside is you have to pay for it and the cost can rack up pretty high. Personally, I don't recommend it, especially not for broke-ass content creators and indie artists living off ramen. Then there's the other type of render farm, which is a distributed render farm. Currently, uh, I think Sheepit is the only one that's free to use, and it's built only for those who use Blender. So if you're using Cinema 4D, Maya, Houdini, you won't be able to upload it to the site, it just doesn't support it at all. How Sheepit works is like this. So the guys who run Sheepit have servers across the world, which we'll call Shepherds. The Shepherds don't do any of the rendering themselves. Instead, they handle the file storage and act as a coordinator for the sheeps. The sheeps are the machines that do the actual rendering, and those machines can be anyone's computer in the world. To become a sheep, all you need to do is download and run the stupid client on your computer, which I'll go into in just a little bit, but in the background, the client will connect to the shepherds, and you'll be given other people's projects to render out. Each time your machine renders out a frame for someone else, it'll then send that frame back to the shepherds, and in return, the shepherds will reward you with a certain amount of points. The basic idea is that render points kind of act like a store of compute power. Once you've gained enough points, you can then upload your project onto Sheepit and spend those points you saved up all at once and get your project rendered out in a short amount of time by hundreds of sheeps. It's kind of like how you would save up, you know, I, I don't know, a few hundred dollars every single month and then at the end of the year, you decide to go on a holiday and spend it all, all in one go. So now that we know how sheep it works, let me show you how to set it up. It's actually really, really simple. So the first step you need to do is to go to the Sheepit website and create an account. Now, before you can upload your own projects, Sheepit has a minimum requirement that you have to render 10 frames of somebody else's project before you're allowed to upload your own project. So what we need to do is go to the Get Started page and download the client software for your operating system. And once you launch the client, this is what it will look like. We need to link it to our account. So here you'll type in your username and password for your account. Now under compute devices, you'll either see a CPU option or a GPU option. I'm on a Mac, so it only supports like Nvidia GPUs, I think. So if you have a GPU, I suggest you select that. But if you don't, just click on CPU. I will set it to the maximum cores available and then give it like 48 gigabytes of RAM as a minimum. I've set it to 12 because I have more RAM, which means I can render out more complex projects that gives me more opportunity to earn points that people with lower end hardware would have to skip, right? And for the priority, drag it all the way to the left so that the client only uses up idle CPU power, okay? You don't want the client to be like bogging your system down or hogging up all the resources okay for the advanced section you can just leave everything on the default settings with the only exception being the block ev projects option on some machines ev projects can sort of destabilize the system i haven't had this happen to me before but i know that other people have complained about it so just to be safe you can turn it on for me i just keep it off again more opportunity to earn points and then finally tick write settings to file and also sign in as well and then click save and then you're done now i recommend you keep this running for a few days at least and get to like 100,000 points before you upload any of your own projects. And the reason is because even for like a small project, maybe like 100 frames or 150 frames, depending on like how many things you got going on in the scene, you can eat up points pretty fast, okay? Better to go over and have way more points than you need. Like right now, I have like 2 million points. It helps you boost up in priority and you don't run the risk of your project getting paused. So once you've gained enough points, go back to the Get Started tab and this is where you upload your project's blend file. But before you rush away to do that, there's a few small checks and things you want to keep in mind, okay? Number one, make sure you have all your textures packed inside the blend file. Otherwise, it just won't show up in the render. So to do this, what you do is you go into file and then under external data, you tick automatically pack resources. This is like super important, so don't skip it. On the other hand though, make sure that the file doesn't exceed two gigabytes in size because that is the maximum file size that Sheepit will allow. Now the last thing you need to check is to make sure that it doesn't take absolutely forever to render out any single frame of your animation. So go to the Get Started page and over here, click on this scene to download it. So once you have it downloaded, open up the scene and there'll be two windows. Now I don't know why there's two windows, but if you just go into the render properties and under device, you select GPU compute, which is what I usually use, and then just press F12. So for me, since it took two minutes and 15 seconds to render this frame out, in my own projects, I have to make sure that the most complex frame doesn't take longer than two minutes and 15 seconds to render out. Hopefully that 
kind of makes sense. So essentially, this reference machine blend file acts as a benchmark for the longest time that SheePit would allow you to render out a frame relative to how powerful your CPU or GPU is. So if you set the device back to CPU, yes, it does take longer to render out. Like for me, it's six minutes. I, I did test it. The principle itself doesn't change. So I still have to keep the render time per frame less than six minutes on my CPU, just like I have to keep it under two minutes and 15 seconds on my GPU. If you accidentally go over that, sometimes you might be able to get away with it. But generally speaking, what SheepIt will do is just block your project and then you can't render the rest of it. So yeah, make sure the render time per frame on your own project is quicker than what it took to render out the benchmark file. So to upload your project, just click here and select your blend file and then send this file. And they will show up with these options. Now I recommend you select the GPU option if it's available. Even though the Q position might be lower down in priority, it actually works out to be faster than a CPU. And then click add this blend and it'll create a new project. Now I'm not gonna add this because I don't need to render out this project, but let me just show you. So if I go into my account, under the latest projects, if I click on my most recent one, you can see these tiny little squares. So for me, there's 551 frames. So there's 551 squares in total. And as it's been rendered out, it will change from gray waiting to orange in progress and then to blue and it's finished. And once it's finished, just click this button to download the frames. Or if you want to preview it, click on this button to see the frames and then click on display all frames. And then you can see every single one as it's been rendered out. Now, there's one last thing I want to talk about before I end off this video, and that is who I wouldn't recommend SheBit for. So number one, if you're just like a small time Blender user and you don't actually need to render out that many projects or you use under 100 frames, then in those cases, it's actually going to be faster to render it out yourself than to use SheepIt. Generally speaking, SheepIt is only for when you have more than, let's say, you know, 150 frames, 200 frames, something like that, even like a couple thousand frames, right? And it takes you, you know, maybe like a whole day or even multiple days to render out. Now, the second reason is if you're an NSFW artist or your project contains NSFW content, not that there's anything wrong with it, it's just that SheepIt doesn't have a minimum age requirement to download the client. And anytime somebody renders out a frame, they can actually see a preview of the frame in the SheepIt client. And so from SheepIt's perspective, they assume basically everyone's under 18. Now, if you do have NSFW content, I suggest you render it out either on your own machine, or I'm sure there's like commercial render farms out there that do allow NSFW content. I mean, you know, if you're paying them, I'm assuming they're going to be more lenient, right? So just make sure you don't upload it onto SheepIt because the moment somebody sees something like that, you're just going to be immediately reported and banned. But yeah, that's all I got for you today. If you enjoyed the video, hit the sub button.